Oh my gosh, guys, you asked for it and they did it. Your feedback made this RV a reality. Stick around and tell me what you think. Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd down here in Bristol, Indiana at the Ember RV headquarters getting the very first look at the RV you said you wanted. Uh, you said, boy, we like these embers, but we want them on four independent wheels. Bam, they made it happen. You said you wanted a convertible bunk system. Bam, they made it happen. You said you wanted four wheels and a convertible bunk system. <laughs> Turns out, Ember really is watching that comment section, everybody. So uh, this is very similar to like the, uh, the, the 221 MDB, yeah, you know me, but with the missile Ember track convertible bunk system. But what's awesome about this, you wanna make it a bunkhouse, you can. You wanna use it for cargo space, you can do that. But you can also convert this easily into an office space uh, for a solo or couples excursion because every single outlet in this RV is tied to the inverter system that is standard on these that most manufacturers, maybe if you're lucky, prep for. Uh, and they have all kinds of outlets, household and USB, back in that bunk system area. Now, you still have that quad wheel uh, trailing arm suspension system, that off-road suspension package. So this is something that if you did want to get off the beaten path a little bit, you're good. If you just want one of the best towing experiences you're ever going to see in your life going down the road, it also works for that. We have a 60 by 80 uh, True Queen Murphy bed on this thing. Um, being a little bit longer, it's got a bigger awning space than some of the embers. We're looking at the newly enhanced and improved Max Solar Package today. Uh, bigger, better battery capacity, uh, more solar wattage, standard, uh, well, not standard because Max Solar is optional, but you get the idea. They've taken all of the things you asked for and incorporated that, including the new uh, Truma Aventa air conditioning system, which is a serious upgrade in and of itself. I can't wait to see what you think about this. Thank Ember for inviting me down to get us this first footage. If you like what you see, hit that like button. If you're new with us, hit subscribe and let's get running. Now we will get back there to the whole missile launch area in a little bit. Um, it is hot. I am tired. I've been recording all day and like Steven Tyler, I don't want to miss a thing. So I'm actually starting over here from uh, the first of two sofas in the slide out, giving you kind of the view from over here. And one of the things that you get to see when you're staring straight at this is our little Lego looking buddy, uh, Steve the Stovetop. He is your personal adventure concierge. He comes at no additional cost in every single uh, Ember RV. Now down below, Steve, we've got a couple drawers, but you've also got uh, the uh, your furnace vent right there. But this uses the furnace and water heater combo from Truma called, well, you know, the Combi. Basically, the name's not exactly that inventive. It's pretty self-explanatory. It does the job very well. Notice the privacy shade in the full entry door. And uh, the Euro windows are back for 23 after a little supply issue for the 22 season. Um, these things are back now, but you do still have the option of going to frameless uh, sidewall windows. The roof Stargazer skylight will always be one of those Euro windows. Now, as you saw in our early floor plan in a flash footage, they have a day and a night shade segment. When that window is open for airflow, because those things get awesome airflow. The, uh, the day shade acts as your bug screen, by the way. So this is a full size ember. This is a full eight foot wide, whereas the, uh, the, the single axles are seven and a half foot wide, unless you're talking about the rock and roll little box drop kind of jobs. Um, this again is a double Dynofa model. Let me finish giving you a look at the living room here. I wanna point out the fact that we are totally carpetless and easy cleaning through this thing. Um, that's one of the other features I like. They've also touched up those storage above the slide. We'll get a better look at that in just a minute. First of all, though, I want to talk about something new for 23 that I'm very excited about. The Truma Aventa air conditioner. Winnebago had this exclusively in North America last year in their uh, FLX uh, mini series. But it's uh, it's not a, an air conditioner with a soft start. It actually kind of doesn't need a soft start, especially with the max solar package on this, because it ramps up power slowly. Now the non max solar package is not intended to be able to run that air conditioner. And still, even with max solar, even on a bright sunny day, you can overpower what your solar panels are able to provide to the system. It's intended to help get you through the worst of the day. It's also awesome if you're mooch docking and you only have like a 15 amp household uh, plug available. But the other really awesome part about this is the dehumidifier feature. If you're really trying to save power, but it's just swelter and hot, you can kick it into dehumidification mode and not actually uh, kick on the compressor. And the end result feels so much cooler in here, not to mention just getting the humidity out of something that is uh, awful darn nice. So I mentioned 
this is a double Dinofa model. Well, first of all, kicking that out, you've got, uh, you know, table number one of two that we're going to get to see right there. But you can see how with the eight foot wide embers, there's just full storage all the way around that bed, including those cool little headboard side pockets. Now, this is a, a bendy bed Murphy bed, which maximizes the outside storage, but it's also 60 by 80. When we close this thing up for road mode, one of the cool things that you're going to get to see, though, is that this RV does not uh, require the bed to be like put away for transit. Um, and actually, what's kind of cool about that is uh, if you wanted to just leave the bed down all the time and ignore the fact that it's a Murphy bed, there's absolutely nothing stopping you from doing that here. Now, again, this is a double Dinofa model. I want to uh, really quick mention proactively here something that people might ask about. Can I get a dinette in this? And the answer is no, it's not possible. And I will show you why that is the case when we step outside the RV. Now, Embers changed up their slide system from their original variant. Uh, they went away from a Schwintech slide. They went to a, a Norco slide system. They're finding a little bit better reliability and service records. Our cabinetry, by the way, is all pocket screwed. And um, I tell you what, we're gonna ask our friend Steve the stovetop to open up his face. Let's take a look at the storage in here, shall we? Now, another thing with these Overlands, they are not made with the allowance for a factory oven. We're looking at a standard microwave here right now. My understanding is that Ember is working on a solution, uh, a supplier basically for a convection microwave option. Um, that may or may not have happened by the time you're watching this video. I don't know, you know how long since I've published this you're watching this. So it never hurts to ask that question. Um, that is a, a 12 volt DC compressor fridge. Even their standard 200 watt solar should be enough to generally offset that giving, uh, given, uh, you know, good sunshine. But again, it's the, the, the Ember track missile bunk system. Basically it's just E-Track that they put their own little name to. Um, but it is powder coated aluminum E-Track with these little adjustable kind of bunk shelf things. It can be uh, bunks, obviously. It could be uh, a desk. It could be, I've seen, we, we demoed one of these one time with a hammock in it. Uh, you can use it, obviously, as wide open storage. Um, perfect for transporting e-bikes or mountain bikes or anything like that. Some of the bigger mountain bikes won't always go through these rear cargo doors like a lot of bunks have. So they that's where they came up with this big guy here. Now, every single outlet in this RV, uh, you're looking at some outlets over there. There's some additional outlets over here, just off camera, by the way, plus some USB plugs on both sides. They're always wired to the uh, 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 inverter on the RV. Now, standard by default, this RV has a 1,000-watt inverter. With Max Solar, that bumps up to a 3,000-watt. And they're moving away from uh, the Mastervolt um, Max Solar system and going to, like, Victron components, not to mention the fact they're using a newer, bigger, better battery than they ever had before. And it's not like they were using bad batteries before. By default, Max Solar always came with two Battleborn batteries. However, it is now coming with a single Dragonfly Game Changer battery. And if you don't know what that means, that is one big battery that has 270 amp hours of juice on it. Thing is, all of that hardware is tucked under here under that sofa. With I, I can't really easily show you any of that stuff without peeling it apart. And I don't, I, I don't think they would appreciate it if I started getting a screw gun out. Last time I had some tools in my hand, it looked like the Three Stooges. It was, it was not pretty. And we're also going to talk about how um, all of their solar, base solar and max solar, have been improved because the supplier of their solar panels has improved their solar panels. So basically, no matter what, you're always getting more juice, a little more lightning in those boxes now. Porcelain foot flush stool, and it is darn fluffy friendly in that space. I love the extension on that little countertop right there, especially in the full eight foot wide here. We have plenty of room for that. Um, uh, lipid storage, storage glorge cabinet over on the right and it's corner mounted so you can actually stand directly in front of the sink. Um, you've got the little window over there that you can crack open and, you know, share the joy with the neighbors. And uh, the airflow coming off these bigger fans, it is, it is incredible compared to the four inch fart fans and they're using these bigger fans standard. Um, I don't know if you're able to hear that very well, but listen to this. That thing roars like Katy Perry. It moves some air, brother. Now, uh, the RV in its shortest point is in the shower. It's six and a half foot tall from the floor to the ceiling. However, you do have to step up into that shower, which means my head is in the skylight. The RV actually gets taller as you move um, into the uh, living room area here. 
We got that handy little Aquaview shower miser uh, unit so that when you are boondocking, your water supply is like Maxwell House, basically. It's good till the last drop. And um, I think we generally got the idea here. One of the other things that I want to do for you is I'm actually going to butt scoot boogie my way out of the RV a little bit and show you this thing in road mode with the slide closed. And that's what I was talking about right there. With that slide closed, you never have to actually put the bed away. So if you don't care about the Murphy, you don't care about the bendy bed, you could slot in any true queen bed of your choice and it's going to fit. And that's one of the really cool aspects of this RV, the flexibility and the options and uh, opportunities that it offers you. So a better look at how much space that slide's eating up. But even so, you could still fold down that high to bed and you have a straight shot through all the way back to that cargo door. I have test loaded a two-seater kayak into this and it loads just fine. Not to mention the fact that depending on what you do with your bunks over here, you can create even more space. And of course, for uh, travel and potty stops, we are Cracker Barrel compliant, baby. Now, if you've seen my videos on these, I think at this point we have a video on every single Ember uh, floor plan that's been made. So if you really want to learn about this family, I've got a lot of information, including a full factory, uh, factory tour. Factory with a V? I don't know what's wrong with me. Factory tour. But if you're new at this, here, here's the thing. The body, the shell of this is made differently. Basically, it's all aluminum and composite. Um, every like outside skin and wall you're looking at, it's Asdell on the outside, Asdell on the inside, aluminum frame, block foam packed, um, even all of the metal exoskeleton and the front gearbox that we're looking at, that is all a powder coated aluminum. The idea here being something that's going to hold together. Now what's helping lash all those cool little corner pieces together is actually something like a turnabon tape. They're not using the conventional like putty butyl tape that just rots out and decays naturally over time. They're making something here designed to last longer, to stay stronger. They've done a very different uh, tongue jack system on this. It's basically like a, a power jack, almost like a leveling leg. And um, by default, it comes with a ball hitch coupler, but you notice the little Versa coupler here. If you wanted to swap in something like a lock and roll articulating hitch, you can do that here. Now, um, we're looking at one that has the full observation suite installed on it, but they're all going to be prepped for it. So uh, first of all, uh, you've got turn signal safety lighting by default, and they run two separate power lines so that if you do add that side camera right there, the uh, <laughs> your camera view is not going to blink in and out, in and out. Uh, and uh, But, you know, no matter what, you've always got at least that uh, turn signal safety lighting system, and you can add the side view cameras. Now, the quad wheel versions have a bigger front end, so they have more room for a larger front storage compartment, as you just saw, which is cool, and with them being a little bit bigger. They also have room for a bigger awning, which is, you can actually remote control off your phone via their little uh, app, which is neat. Making sure you can, uh, you know, avoid catching a, a good case of pink eye. They also include the stinky slinky sewer tube here by default from the factory, not something you have to add on. Now they're doing a lot of cool things under here, but you can't see it because they've done a great job of enclosing this. First of all, good holding tank capacities. They have holding tank heaters. A radiant belly barrier, and in case you're wondering, yeah, Ember is zero to 100 degree rated. They are tested and proven um, at the uh, the Truma temperature uh, plants. You may have noticed the European windows are back. The supply issues on those have been resolved. That's not something you should expect uh, later in this year be an issue. Goodyear Endurance, uh, nope, yeah, Goodyear Wrangler tires. Apologies, uh, basically a, a truck tire on a four wheel trailing arm off road suspension. And if you've never towed with one of these, it's different. It, I, I can only describe it as it's just, it's like it's on rails behind you and it's so buttery smooth. Not to mention the fact, this suspension system is designed to take up and soak up the worst of the shocks and the jolts that the road can throw at you to give you a better, smoother experience towing, which means the entire body of the RV and everything inside it is not being banged around and stressed as badly, which is cool. They've also improved this now. This is their new version of their uh, basically, you know, like built on wheel chock system right here. What's cool about this, it has this new pad so that it grabs the tire better. And it comes with this little removable grab bar right here so that you don't got to be Hulk freaking Hogan to muscle that thing around. 
The other really cool thing about this right here, you can use this with them good finger uh, finger poles right there. You can really defend yourself from some gas station murder hobos. What come a get you, brother? Anyway, then we come over here to the, the really the focal point of this RV because if you've seen the 221 MDB, yeah, you know me, you've already pretty much seen this RV. It's the missile function here that truly defines this one as uh, something different, something special. Now, first of all, notice that all of this is fully encompassed under the awning. So you always have maximum coverage and protection over here. Secondly, in terms of like the clearance and the height on this, I'm a little bit over six foot tall wearing shoes and a hat. Obviously it doesn't pose any problems to me, but it's this right here that retractable, almost like toy hauler style screen wall that is now on this, that is so heads and tails better than uh, there used to be like a Velcro uh, on and off thing that you had on this before. That just, it feels, it feels so, so right to me. But let me throw you this idea out there. I don't, I, I don't want to be one of those people who says, yeah, that's nice, but you could have done better. I think it's fantastic. I think they're already doing things that nobody else is doing. But what if they could take it up another notch and crank it up to 11 by putting some kind of little screen or wall or something on that rear oops i'm in reverse camera view on that rear cargo door back there what if you could leave this whole thing open and have just crazy airflow without the bugs how cool would that be oh my gosh that blue sky looks so good today i i love my work i do wish i was out with this camper enjoying that beautiful weather though we've got the the, the weather like this these days are, are limited right now in uh northern southern michiana that fictitious land between michigan and indiana we're looking at that optional roof access ladder it will always have the mount up there a lot of brands are doing that i think ember was just about the first and as long as we're looking up top let's actually take a walk uh on the wild side now up here on the roof a couple things first of all today we're looking at their max solar package and this has been improved since last year not only do you have a bigger uh battery coming with this by default now um about what 30 40 percent more capacity than the max solar package had by default before but all of these panels have also been improved to 200 watts each so you're now a 600 watt package with 270 amp hours of battery power by default now you've got a low profile air conditioner so there's less chance for tree branches to lego pop that soccer off you know um you don't want to play rock'em sock'em robots with uh, mother nature she always ends up winning and you always end up losing the other thing is, you might notice there's no rubberized roofing up here. That's one of the other really cool things about these embers. They don't use traditional rubberized roofing or TPO or, or anything like that, basically. Um, it's fiberglass. The roof is literally just a version of their walls, but twice as thick. It's a three inch fully laminated walk-on roof. And I want you to kind of run this through your head. If you were holding a scalding hot cup of coffee, in a thin, flimsy little fire, uh, styrofoam cup. It wouldn't burn your hand. Now imagine you have a three inch thick coffee cup. And that, my friends, is how Ember do. All right, working our way back down and around here. Um, one of the first things I wanna actually hit on is uh, these things are starting to show up all over the place in the RV marketplace. I first saw them teased in Ember's original uh, preview uh, like over a year ago. These are the new Lippert Quick Drop Stabilizers. And basically, it's almost like having a set of strong arm stabilizer jack supports built right onto this. And these are um, rated and approved to be used like with a screw gun and a little hex nut adapter. Traditional scissor jacks, they actually recommend you don't do that, even though everybody and their brother does. We've got the 300-pound uh, cargo accessory hitch on the back. I've noticed a lot of other manufacturers have very quietly, very silently, which I suppose is like saying quietly again. I'm sort of just being stupidly synonymous over here. But they have, have, they have been derating their um, rear hitches. I've seen some as low as 150 pounds, so kind of keep an eye on that. Now, with the bigger uh, tire package on these that you're getting, you're also getting some awesome ground clearance. But the funny thing is, if you look at this, the RV is parked on ground that is sloping down. The nose is actually way up high, so the tail is artificially low, and there's still awesome clearance down here, which is terrific. Now, a lot of people want to ask, um, you know, can uh, like, why can't I put a dinette in this? And unfortunately, it's the big, super sweet suspension system that requires that because when these tires uh, in that trailing arm system, when they retract, you see how the wheel well bumps up into the body of the RV. Unfortunately, the four wheel embers, that front wheel extends up further than the single wheel version. So that means that the slide out can't drop down to the rough level of the floor 
which means things like a, uh, you know, a dinette wouldn't have room for you to have your legs on the inside. That's just kind of one of those hiccup little catch 22 items with this. Sometimes your greatest assets, your greatest liability. But if you stay tuned to the end of this video, I'm, I'm being quiet right now for a reason. I kind of saw something I'm not sure I'm supposed to. I got a cool little sneak preview for you at the end here if I can get away with it. But first we gotta finish this one up. You see the fully enclosed, privatized, hidden, protected docking center. All of our gate poles and everything are nicely tucked away in here. Full outside utility shower. And we've got crazy solar on the roof as we're gonna see, but you still have uh, option for a portable side mount solar prep thing on there. Uh, there's, just, there's just a lot that they're doing. Now I would like to draw your attention to that front gearbox real quick. So first of all, this right hand side right now is going to just be pure cargo because of the max solar package. Normally, this is where your batteries would go on the outside, but with max solar, with that big uh, game changer lithium, it goes on the inside. <gasps> I just had an idea. I need your feedback on this. Leave notes for Ember if you agree. The little, because this is a, a, a different kind of coupler, the, the, the chassis manufacturer is still standardized for a normal tongue jack. What if they built that with like some kind of flagpole holder or something right from the factory? How cool would that be? Now, speaking of that, you can always use that little space right there to literally stand on the gearbox. That is a powder coated aluminum structure that is made to handle the weight of a person standing on it. Or if you want to add like a little portable generator or something like that. Now this side of the gearbox will always be propane tanks. You might notice though, there is intentionally no lock for those propane tanks on the outside. That is actually a fire safety thing. In the event of a fire, you do have to be able to uh, turn your bottles off and access them quickly. So that's why only one side of that box locks and not the other. <laughs> box locks. Sounds like Dr. Seuss and a fox and socks or something. You know what? I should have quit Went out while I was ahead. So let me know what you think of this. Like I said, every time you ask for, for something, they just keep stepping up. They just keep delivering. But uh, they left the garage door open and I'm peeking around the corner here at their production facility. I want to show you a sneak peek at something that might be coming down the line. Look at this. No, nope, I got everything. I'm all set, guys. Thank you. All right, look over my shoulder. This is the all new- Hey, hey, hey get, get out, out of here. here. What are you doing? <laughs>